slurping on these hoes yeah yum <laughs> hey guys what's up I am almost positive this camera is crooked, but you're gonna have to bear with me because this video is gonna be a disaster already. I'm manifesting the disastrousness. I also can't hear out of my right ear because let me tell you what I did. Okay, I have wet earwax. The secret is out. I have wet earwax, meaning it is really hard for me to get the wax out myself. I've had to go, I've had to, 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 I've had to if I use a Q-tip, it is just a disaster. It's one of those times where I use a Q-tip and I think I pushed it in more than it should have been. And now I can't hear. The earwax is covering my eardrum. I, I feel like it's both ears maybe. It's very hollow in my head. So bear with me if I can't hear or speak. Anyways, hey everyone, my name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am in the process of moving, yes, and I'm gonna be doing a whole moving vlog and a, and, 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 and a transformation video for my room. So just bear with me um, because it's gonna be a process. So that video is gonna come much later, but So for today's video, we are going to be exposing, I can't even, I don't even know if I'm my motherfucking no, no, no. You see that? Deep fried. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast. I co-host it with my friend Courtney and we just came out with stickers for the podcast. We upload episodes every Wednesday and it'd be so cool if you bought some stickers. If you repped, if you repped. If you repped the podcast, or you can click the link in my bio to go get yourself some stickers. <laughs> Anyways, for today's video, we are going to be exposing my camera roll. I had this idea because I could not, no, I mean, I really just couldn't think of anything else. And I also didn't want to do anything else because I'm moving, like I said. If I'm trying to film a video while all the chaos around me is happening, I will get stressed out, confused, and it'll come out in the editing. I will literally, God damn it, I smell. I thought I would show you the fun things that I'm hiding in my camera roll for you guys. I'm gonna basically like be reacting to my camera roll. I have so much in my camera roll that I haven't really looked at in a while. And I just thought it'd be like a cute little video. Let's hope I don't have anything on here that like I would regret. I'm gonna scoot over. I'm gonna go like all the way up. What you're what you're seeing right now are some old ass YouTube videos. I'm obviously gonna have to mute them because I know for sure one of the songs is copyrighted. So let's go. I do apologize for what you're about to hear, but also, oh well, goodbye. Ba -ba 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 -da. Ba -ba 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 -da. I'll make them good ba -ba 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 girls go bad. Ba -ba 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 I'll make them good girls go. Good girls go bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Good girls go bad. Oh, no, 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 no. I know your type, your type Your daddy's little girl Just take a bite, one bite Let me shake up your world It's kind of crazy because I filmed this video in the bedroom that I'm, I'm moving out of. Also, I'm gonna show you this one that I filmed in 2012. I actually had it uploaded to this channel, but I deleted it when I started making videos again because I think it had copyright on it and I didn't want that to be on my channel. But here we go. I think this is to the Hot Chill Ray song. I'm not sure. Let's get it on. Yeah, y'all can come along. Everybody drinks on me, buy out the bar. Just to feel like I'm a star, and I'm thinking the academy. Missed my ride home, lost my iPhone. I wouldn't have. That is legitimately the iPhone 4. It's really crazy how much time has gone by. And my hair was so long. I also had, ex not extensions, but I had, what's it called? I also had, what is it called? Uh. I look like an egg. Why do I look like an egg? Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. If you put me, let me hear you say. I look it like that. Oh my God, this photo from June 1st, 2012. It was summertime and summertime in high school and like in middle school for me was, was like literally the best time of my life because I got to hang out with my YouTube friends online. Oh my God, that sounds real sad. This was the time when Justin Bieber was like getting into all his scandals. I used to watch E! News 
fucking religiously and they had like a thing where it was like send in your tweets on your opinions on like justin or whatever like the the um the current event was happening and i literally used the hashtag oh he like came out of the house with one shoe on i think that's why it's called hashtag one shoe beebs but i literally said i love justin bieber but the fame is getting to his head he needs a chill pill and it literally got on the air look at that profile picture god damn oh my gosh so this is a screenshot of when i hit 4,000 subscribers on my kaylee keeps me thinking channel which is not there anymore it's deleted i was like so proud of that 4,000 subscribers if you look up kaylee keeps me thinking and even though my channel isn't there you can see all my old collab channel videos and they're embarrassing and you don't have to go watch them by okay so this photo was taken october 26 2012 it's the same girl that i made the i like it like that by hot chill ray music video this was the first time i ever got I got legitimately blackout. I think I was like, <laughs> my mom's gonna watch this. Hey, mom. <laughs> I was like 16. I think I was 17. I brought my DSLR because it was sort of like a Halloween party, as you can tell by whatever that is, that little party thing. And then after that, I thought I was the shit. I was like, I have been drunk for the first time, bitch. Y'all can't. What? I mean, like literally euphoria right there. Like this is euphoria. <laughs> Also, this photo with me and some friends, we were pretending to be drunk. We weren't actually drunk. This is in the backyard of my friend Azure's house. What up, Azure? Shout out. I still talk to you. This was a graduation, and I literally look like a fucking serial killer. I think it was like a fifth grade or fourth grade graduation or something. This is me on a water slide at the local pool. I literally look like a miniature seal, not even trying to bash my younger self, but I literally look like a seal, just like the way my body is. Also, can we talk about sixth grade graduation? Can we talk about the midi skirt, bitch? That is now currently back in style because a, bi a bitch was living. That shirt, my hair. Oh, and look at these, look at these damn flats. Looking like a goddamn checkerboard. Also, around my neck was indeed a rosary bead because I thought God was going to protect me. Little did I know, God was not answering any of my prayers. <laughs> also, can we talk about this outfit? This was not taken in 2012. The thing, this was definitely like 2009. I literally drove my mom insane. I made my mom buy me so many Beer Bradleys. That was one of them. Oh my God. Like, I remember just truly loving Beer Bradley and the belt. Oh my God. Oh, the nips my boobs oh my god i wish i had boobs like that today <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite photos of all time my mom wanted to take a photo of me but my sister was not having it in the corner and she was so upset and my dad's like lounging in the back this photo right here um is me with no teeth if you don't know these two teeth they're they're implants they're fake and so this was i think the day before i had the implant surgery i don't know why these dates are so messed up but this video was from my freshman year at college i remember a little while ago my freshman year roommate sent me this and was like what is this we for the life of us could not figure out why like what this project was for so there's no audio but it's basically me just like frantically typing away this is our dorm room i'm like typing away i find a book or no, like a book like landed on me or something oh my god my hair was so long i remember I also wore that shirt like nobody's business. I wore that to school every day. I don't even remember what is what what I don't I, I don't I, the, but it's so dumb. Like I don't like I I hope I got an F on this because and then, like I'm frantically I was so skinny. Oh my god. Also had an eating disorder then, so <laughs> Um. Do you guys want to see me as a baby? I have some photos saved of me as a baby. That was me. It really looks weird. Like, I don't know. That doesn't really look like me, but at the same time, it is me. So, girl. Who knows? Also, I don't know if you guys remember Michael Johns from American Idol, but he came to like a local restaurant in my area and I met him and I was so proud of myself. Like, look, also height of eating disorder there too. I was so skinny. I also have this book right here. I made him sign it and I told him that I was in love with Facebook and he called me Mrs. Facebook. So, so y'all can't, can't tell me nothing. Oh my God, this is my senior photo. I actually look pretty cute here. This was also pre-nose job, so you can see exactly what my real nose looks like. So when I was a senior in high school, I really wanted a fake ID for college. So I asked a family member who was older than me to send me their ID so I could Photoshop my face onto it and look at this Photoshop job. <laughs> Her face was rounder. Like I had like an oval face and she had like a rounder face <laughs> and I tried to Photoshop 
<laughs> my face under hers it was so tragic this was also the second image of it um it was so like <laughs> ready i'm about to sing i'm about to sing a song i have so many photos that i need to delete i probably have said this a million times but i met lana del rey when i was senior in high school i know i've said this on the podcast which by the way you should listen to deprived we were literally that close to her like it was so close and then i met her oh my god the photo is awful i literally forget about all these memories that i have like they truly feel like a fever dream my friend azure my friend elena which i've t i've showed you guys on my channel before our senior year of high school um like the summer before going into college we went to new york city as like a little trip and i randomly met glozell and these are some photos of our time and i started screaming is you okay is you and she was like i is okay i totally forgot forgot about that okay guys i gotta say i was so fucking proud of myself my first quarter at scad i took a drawing like drawing 101 and this was the final product i this literally took me all quarter to do took me fucking eight weeks to do how sad is that like <laughs> if y'all want to know how bad i cannot draw it is this like honestly i have to say i am pretty impressed with the chords but i like truly like drawing like like dimensions focal points and like foreground background it makes no sense in my brain i don't know if it's just me oh my god i remember this video <laughs> oh my god i had like sucked in the vape pen i used to be really into smoking cigarettes my freshman year at scad because everyone else did it and i was a follower and i had a best friend at the time she like pushed me to smoke and let me tell you if you have friends that push you to smoke cigarettes they're not your friend <laughs> she's like oh my god smoke that's what all the cool kids do <laughs> let's party and do drugs <laughs> I didn't do any drugs, but like I definitely smoked a lot of cigarettes. This is what being an art student literally did to my phone. I fucked that bitch up so bad. I literally would get drunk and just like throw my phone in bushes. <laughs> I ran three miles in 36 minutes. This is when I used to run. <laughs> I have to laugh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I used to voluntarily run. Girl, when you're mentally ill, you'll do anything. No offense to you people who run. If you enjoy it, that's fine. When I ended up transferring to Georgia State my sophomore year, um, I lived in this apartment with a bunch of random roommates and they were the grossest roommates ever. And I remember I wrote on this board, y'all smell like ass and don't do the dishes. And I was like, yeah, I'ma tell them. I'ma be like, which is so wrong. Like if you have a problem with somebody, like tell them, like, you know. I was like, I'ma be, I'ma be petty. I'ma be motherfucking petty but I didn't have the guts and I took a photo and I deleted it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this photo. Let me tell you, my friend Elena convinced my friend Azure and I to go see the Keen and JC concert back in 2016. And the venue that we went to was called Center Stage and they sold whole pizzas. So we literally bought a whole pizza and watched Keen and JC act like a fool on stage. It was actually kind of fun. I would do it again because I really do love Keen and JC, so. Oh my gosh, this is a quote from this girl on Instagram called at living baby. I think her name is Amber. She's so fun and cool. And basically someone took, wrote down a quote and I saved it and it says, <clears throat> bitch, if you ain't having a good day, sit there and ask yourself why. Is the shit that bad you can't have a good day? Bitch, my lash falling off. I don't care. Wig blowing like a motherfucker. <laughs> People saying work cannot buy your hair and it's synthetic wig, but ain't no pressing me just bought myself some shit i mean come on living in los angeles feeling good the cloud is out trouble don't last always bitch better enjoy life better enjoy life now before it's too late that was a mess <laughs> i live by that it's like shit really that bad you can't have a good day wig blowing like a motherfucker oh my god this is may 5th 2017 is the first tattoo i got this is a video of when hurricane irma came through and this was courtney our friend azure we all lived together at the time at uga and this was her going out in the storm to get a package like a dumbass and her umbrella <laughs> her umbrella was all fucked up <laughs> this is a photo of me literally sleeping with my eyes open because I'm fucked up. I literally look dead, like I've been shot, like I've been murdered. Sweet dreams, bitches. This is a video of Waffle in a boot. <laughs> he was.
I literally got a video of waffle humping this dog. Um, so in love with her. Her name was, I don't even remember. <laughs> she He just hits it and quits it, I guess. Last May, I got this mini mic. I was so obsessed with this mic. It's like the one that Joanna Cita had, but I think I got mine first. I fucking got mine first, but don't get it fucking twisted. And I made this whole entire slideshow. As I was so obsessed see, with it. The mic is really, really shiny, very fluorescent. Um, it comes on a really long cord. I did a whole iMovie video. Gosh. I found my mini mic. And then for Christmas of that same year, my friend Elena, bless her soul, got me a mini megaphone. I honestly don't even know if this mic works, so we're just gonna like try it. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. So when I was at UGA, I was taking a statistics class, which actually was the bane of my existence and I almost failed. But what I did was I went to office hours and talked to my professor and showed how much I cared about stats and how much I loved a branch of math that I don't give a fuck about. This girl actually helped me a lot. I'm gonna be honest, she was like a friend in my class and wasn't like an outside friend. You know, you have those friends that you hang out with outside of school and then you have like your school acquaintances. She was an in-class school acquaintance. So after statistics, I didn't really talk to her because I didn't really see her. One day, this bitch sees me in one of the buildings waiting to go to class and she takes a photo of me. I see you, bitch. <laughs> You've been ignoring me and she caught my ass red-handed and I had to go over there and talk to her. It was so embarrassing because I was, I saw her come into the room, but I purposefully ignored her. And then her ass took a photo of me and was like, why are you ignoring me, bitch? And she called me out, which honestly I deserve. God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking breathe. Oh. <laughs> I can't breathe. Last summer, my mom and I had a garage sale. We were putting up signs around the neighborhood. My mom literally recorded me running back to the car after putting a sign up and I literally look like a goddamn whale running. And my mom is like cackling at how I'm running, like a supportive mother. Putting signs up for the garage sale. <laughs> She's drunk. Thumbnail time. Oh. Interesting. Like, look at the, like, I, my whole body is like. What if I'm the mom? My mom thought it was the funniest fucking thing. Let's go back. Oh my god, look at me in slow. Look at me in fast. <laughs> look at me going fast. When my channel first started popping off, this guy, I don't know how he found it, but he found the number to my home phone, which no one really uses, and he left a message, and it was so weird. So this is a thing that Kaylee should be. I'm not here to harass you or like spread your number or whatnot but i just found your number online while trying to find your old channel and i just wanted to let y'all know so that you're so you don't get harassed you feel me so you don't have to call me back <laughs> He said, you don't have to call me back. <laughs> like I wasn't gonna call you back. And I won't lie, I got like super paranoid after that. Here is me laughing at like 11 p.m. in my bed for literally no reason at all. I was just <laughs> gagging. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I don't know why I was laughing. And honestly, I think that's all I'm willing to share. Thanks so much for watching this dumbass video. Make sure to like and and subscribe again i guess i'll i guess i'll see you guys later and i'll see you better for more see you better later <laughs> see you later later bye